still waiting for your new laptop? The current microchip market shortage might be to blame. While it might teach us that patience is a virtue, this unprecedented shortage mainly highlights the risks of tech dependencies. Two years ago, when COVID-19 disrupted our economy, most companies cancelled their microchip orders, anticipating falling sales. However, demand for laptops, gaming consoles or smart speakers, which all need chips to function, rocketed while people stayed at home during lockdown. Meanwhile, falling victim to unprecedented water shortages or factory fires in Taiwan, the chip supply chain ran into serious disruption, which is an enormous challenge as 92% of the world's manufacturing capacity for cutting-edge chips is based in Taiwan. To make things worse, some manufacturing plants had to close due to COVID-19. This unfortunate turn of events highlights the importance of chips to the digital economy. It also underlines the urgent need for EU chip autonomy, as Europe only produces 8% of the world's chips when 20% should be the goal. But how can the EU double its global market share by 2030? A new Chips Act proposed by the European Commission is an unprecedented opportunity for the EU to strengthen its entire supply chain from research and design to production and testing. A Chips for Europe initiative could support research, development and innovation through existing EU programs like Horizon Europe. As chips power almost everything in our daily life, it could focus on the most efficient types that can help reduce the energy our devices use. In parallel, the proposed act could ensure supplies are secure by attracting new advanced production facilities and investment to the EU. The proposals have probably already contributed to convincing Intel to pledge an 80 billion investment in developing production sites and high-tech research centers in Europe. The Act could even set up a coordination mechanism between EU countries and the European Commission to monitor the supply of chips closely and implement emergency measures in supply crises.